The main goals of sentiment analysis are to identify opinions expressed or implied in text, the targets of the opinions, and the reasons for the opinions, if possible. On the surface, sentiment analysis may seem like an easy nut to crack. If you have lists of positive and negative words, you could simply use them to determine if a sentence, paragraph, or page is positive or negative, right? I am happy to be going to Disney World. Happy is a positive word, so this is a positive sentiment. I hate my Pebble smartwatch. Hate is a negative word, so this is negative sentiment. But what if your text contains multiple opinion words? You could do something like assign a plus one to positive words and a negative one to negative words and then sum the points. I am happy and excited to be going to Disney World. This contains two positive words, so you could say it is positive plus two. I hate my Pebble smartwatch and its dumb apps. This contains two negative words, so you could say it's negative minus two. But what about text with mixed polarity? That is both negative and positive sentiment words. Even though adding plus one and negative one equals zero, this does not mean that the text is necessarily neutral. Wells Fargo stock does great, even when the economy is bad. The statement is positive about the company Wells Fargo. It's only negative about the economy. So in general, we would say that this is a positive statement about Wells Fargo. We wouldn't say this is neutral. A task that is as important as identifying polarity is discovering the target of the opinion. For example, if we only know that the sentence, I really love my new Nokia Lumia 1520, is positive, then that insight is of limited use. What's better is if we also capture the fact that the positive opinion is about the Nokia Lumia 1520. So this is positive about the phone. The ink for the Canon Pixma is expensive. This is a negative sentiment about the cost of the ink, not about the actual printer. Che Guevara was adored by Cubans because people hated corrupt President Batista. This is a positive statement about Che, even though it contains more negative words than positive words. Aspect-based sentiment analysis discovers an opinion and its target. Although the service is bad, I still love the Cheesecakes Factory. This sentence clearly has a positive tone, but we cannot say it is entirely positive. We can say that the sentence is positive about the restaurant, but it's negative about the restaurant's service. Opinion targets are often described by entities like restaurant and their different aspects like service of the restaurant. If you don't mind the high price, the 2015 BMW 750i is a great car. This is positive sentiment about the BMW, but it's negative about its price. Meta opinions are opinions about opinions, so a meta opinion's target is also an opinion. I'm happy that my son hates the new smart mark for two. The author is positive about her son's opinion of the smart car, which is the target of the meta opinion. So the meta opinion is positive. However, the meta opinion's target is her son's negative opinion. We as humans know that overall, this is a very negative statement about the smart car because we can infer that the author is relieved that her son does not want to purchase the car. Maybe she saw its poor score in consumer reports, or she thinks that its low weight would make it dangerous on the highways. Discovering the reasons for each opinion is important because it may be these reasons that enable us to perform actions to remedy them. I hate the metrics in the new Lumosity app. Is not as useful as, 
I hate the metrics in the new Lumosity app because the brain profile is hard to understand. The first sentence does not give the reason for the negative opinion about the metrics, and it is thus difficult to know what to do to improve them. The second sentence is more informative because it does give the reason for the opinion, and the app maker can make use of this information to improve their brain profile report. Sometimes information from multiple sentences must be used to determine the target of an opinion. I'm really scared for our country. I think I'll move to Canada if Hillary becomes president. Without considering both sentences, we will not be able to determine that the author is negative about Clinton. I bought an iPad 3 three years ago. I still really like it. The retina display is amazing. Battery life is good, but my wife thinks it's too heavy to carry around. This sentiment is positive about the iPad, its display quality, and battery life, but it's negative about the iPad's weight. Sentiment is usually expressed in subjective sentences because opinions are inherently subjective. The extra fees that JetBlue charges are ridiculous. This subjective sentence is negative. It has a negative sentiment word. But some subjective sentences do not contain any implied sentiment, like this neutral expression. I think my boss will be going to Europe next year. This is a neutral statement, even though it's a subjective sentence. Sometimes objective sentences can imply sentiments when they describe desirable or undesirable facts. We started using an arrow garden six weeks ago, but have not seen anything germinate. This has a negative fact. It's a negative sentiment about the indoor garden, but it doesn't contain any negative sentiment words. My Maytag Bravos uses a lot of water. Another negative objective sentence. It speaks to the fact that the machine uses a lot of resources, which is a negative fact. Some conditional sentences that contain sentiment words do not really express any sentiment. If I can find a great smelling cologne at Macy's, I will buy it today. This is a neutral statement, even though it contains the positive great word, great is not attached to a specific cologne or even the Macy's store. If you're looking for an awesome car, get a Fiat 500. Now here's a conditional statement that does express sentiment. It's positive sentiment. Some interrogative sentences that contain sentiment words do not really express any sentiment. Can you tell me which mouthwash tastes great? This is a neutral statement. Even though it contains that positive word great, it's not applied to any specific mouthwash. However, some interrogative sentences do express sentiment. Does anyone know how to repair this terrible Cuisinart smart stick? Here is a negative sentiment sentence, even though it's in the form of a question. Many rhetorical questions are opinionated. Who on earth would want to live in the Lake Park Place condos? This is a negative statement. Humans can see this, even though it doesn't contain a negative sentiment word. Aren't the GE Profile Series ranges beautiful? Here's a positive statement in the form of a rhetorical question. Aspirational sentences can express sentiment too, as in, I'm dying to see Star Wars, The Force Awakens. This is actually a positive statement, even though it contains a negative sentiment word, dying. It shows that the person, the author, aspires to see this new movie, so it's positive. I really want to buy a Nikon D3300. Here's a positive statement about buying a camera. The person really wants to 
purchase this camera. So their aspiration is positive, even though, again, it doesn't contain a positive sentiment word. Opinions can be expressed as intentions, like these negative sentences. I'm going to throw my Toshiba Chromebook out the window. Us humans know this is a negative statement, even though it doesn't contain a sentiment word. I'm returning this insignia tablet to Best Buy tomorrow. This is also a negative sentiment. It shows the intention of the author to return this product back to the store. Indirect opinions can occur, typically expressed as benefits or issues of entities. With the Polaris Razor, I can finish work in one hour that used to take me three hours. This is obviously positive to us, even though it doesn't contain sentiment words. After switching to Grisal lenses, I am able to drive at night again. Another positive statement. It's an indirect opinion. It doesn't contain a sentiment word, but we humans know this is a positive statement. An opinion word can be preceded by an intensifier, like very, extremely, or terribly, which does not change the sentiment's polarity. Panda Express is very good. The intensifier doesn't change the positive word good, it just makes it more good, more positive. However, a negator does change the polarity of sentiment. Panda Express is not very good. So here we have changed the very good sentiment to a negative by using the negator not. And a diminisher, like slightly, somewhat, or barely, decreases the intensity or can even change the polarity. Panda Express is barely any good anymore. If I was the owner of a Panda Express, I would take this to be a negative statement. In addition to individual opinionated words, sentiment analysis also has to deal with idioms. Installing OSX El Capitan was a piece of cake. We know that piece of cake is positive, so this is a positive sentiment, even though it doesn't contain that positive sentiment word. This Apple MacBook cost me an arm and a leg. We know that's, that means it's expensive, so it's negative. The LG G3 did not cut the mustard. Another negative idiom. Barry's predictions are right once in a blue moon. Another negative statement without negative sentiment words. The sentiment of sarcasm is often very hard to determine. If you buy a Fitbit, make sure you save the receipt. We know this is a negative statement, but can an algorithm read through this sarcasm and figure that this is negative, even though it doesn't contain a negative word? Wolf Hall is a wonderful book for insomniacs. Now here's a negative statement with a positive sentiment word. I love waiting forever to see Dr. Theodore Cromwell. This is a negative statement about waiting a long time to see your doctor, but it contains the sentiment word love. Vizio E50, what a great TV. It stopped working after three days. Another negative sentiment inside a sarcasm that contains a positive sentiment word. A sentiment word may have opposite polarities in different domains. For example, suck usually indicates a negative opinion, as in the progressive insurance commercials suck. But suck can also imply positive sentiment, as in a Hoover steam vac can really suck up dirt. So in the domain of vacuum cleaners, suck is actually a positive word. It's positive sentiment here. A regular opinion expresses sentiment about a particular entity or aspect of the entity. Snickers bars taste so delicious, expresses a positive sentiment on the aspect, taste, of a Snickers candy bar. 
A comparative opinion uses multiple entities and bases the comparison on a shared aspect. So Snickers bars taste better than Twix. This compares Snickers and Twix based on their taste, which is the aspect, and expresses a preference for Snickers. Now for some quick examples of text that humans can easily rate as positive or negative, but that an algorithm could struggle with. These sentences will contain a positive sentiment word, but their opinion is negative. The Apple iWatch should have a better screen. My faith in Mitch McConnell is gone. Nobody likes the new Microsoft Surface. I do not think Toyota makes a good car. Samsung mustn't prove the reliability of their TVs. So all of these sentiment words are positive, but each of these expresses a negative sentiment. These next sentences will contain a negative sentiment word, but their opinions will be positive. Vicodin reduced my pain significantly. The GE stackable washer is small, so I got it for my apartment. I have never liked any other smartphone except for the iPhone. All of these, by just looking at the sentiment word, look negative, but they're actually positive sentiment. These sentences will not contain any sentiment words, but they'll have clear opinions. Trump wants to buy my vote. The GPX CD player skips frames. These are both negative statements without any sentiment words. Gas prices are half of what they were three years ago. There is nothing that Google cannot do. Once you try Nino's, you will never go anywhere else. All of these are positive statements without positive sentiment words. Lastly, I'll mention Twitter tweets. They are short and informal and often include internet slang. But the biggest challenge is that their text often appears to contain no sentiment unless you consider their use of emojis. Just heard back from my Allstate agent. This is a positive statement when you see the smiley and the thumbs up emojis. I get to fly on Spirit Airlines today. This is a negative statement because of the angry emoji. And I believe Bernie Sanders can save our country. This is a negative statement because of the wink. It's a sarcastic statement based on that emoji. I hope this short video helped you understand why sentiment analysis is hard. There are many linguistic challenges and much more research is needed.